we're here in the Philippines where the 35th Manila International Book Fair is in full swing. Now the Philippines is a country where 90% of the population is Catholic. In fact, some of the Catholic publishing houses in the Philippines are bigger than a lot of the secular publishing houses. But just what are Filipino Catholics reading? And has the impending visit of Pope Francis in January 2015 renewed Filipino Catholics' interest in reading about their church and their faith? Well, we're here to find out. Um, so can you tell us about some of the books that you've uh, been looking at and buying here at the, at the book fair today? Well, right now just looking at the management books and some books for, for the kids, for my kids, so that they can get the hang of the, uh, the reading attitude. Do you ever, um, do you ever read books about uh, Catholicism, the Catholic Church, that kind of thing? Well, I think before, before I got married, I was into it in, in terms of the liturgical books, the catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, those, uh, of course, those were those that Pope has actually written. With uh, the Pope coming to, to visit, Pope Francis coming to visit the Philippines in January next year, um, that, has that uh, renewed your interest in reading that kind of stuff at all? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Actually, we're very much excited. Do you think that Filipino Catholics in general are, are quite interested in reading about their church and their faith? Yes, because uh, especially the coming of the Pope uh, anticipated and then the year of the laity this year and then anticipating the year of the consecrated men and women for next year. So they are really looking for those materials in preparation for the coming of the Pope. Uh, most of the books that they are looking for are the books about the suffering, the mercy of God, uh, about the lives of the saints, most especially in the audiovisual, and then more about the morality morality books and theological books and also inspiratory, inspirational books such as therapy series for the healing and and reconciliation. Oh, um, mainly the books we bought are the popular books. I bought some classic books. Do you, um, do you ever read books about uh, Catholicism and about the Catholic Church? Well, we read the Bible. <laughs> yes, read the Bible. Yeah. It's our favorite Catholic book. The, the Pope's coming to visit Philippines in January next year, obviously. Um, does the fact that the Pope's coming uh, give you any a greater interest in reading about Catholicism? Yeah, I mean, maybe online, but not actual books. We we're trying to look for a lot of Filipiniana-inspired art books. Okay. <laughs> um, what, what kinds of um, things do you like to read about, generally? Oh, well, I read a lot of fiction, but I also collect children's story books. Um, and my boyfriend over here, he collects uh, Filipino art books. Yeah, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, I only really read um, Catholicism-based books um, when it's more focused on their art, because I'm a tattoo artist, and I think it's interesting to see the imagery of Catho uh, Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> uh, the leadership is not that uh, many if compared to the population of the Philippines, but uh, we are trying our best to promote really the, the reading of the books. In terms of uh, readership, I think it is increasing, but uh, we have really to to bring the culture of uh, or develop the or nurture the readership in terms of books. Well, our best sellers are our music CDs. People are always looking forward to uh, buying new ones. And of course, if the Cardinal has a new book, uh, then people would go to our booth. And uh, so those are our best sellers, yeah. I guess those who are educated, uh, those who come from Catholic schools, they would be interested in reading books on the Catholic faith. Uh, of course, the people who uh, were active in the church, uh, like uh, the nuns and seminarians and priests, they uh, regularly read spiritual books but the mass the massa or uh, i don't think uh, they're into reading uh, about their faith yeah so that's that's uh, that's a sad uh, observation but it's true that's quite true what kinds of things do you like to read generally like novels and books on for, politics well for politics i'd like the Philipp philippine politics as you all know we're all famous for corruption and all that but despite every shitty things that happens that had happened here in the Philippines look at all these people here buying all the books that they want to read yeah, do you um, do you ever read books about religion about Catholicism of course yeah. I always read books whether it's for Christianity Buddhism every religion I'm always open to anything yeah, okay. 
What's, uh, what's the most recent uh, Catholic book that you've read? I don't know if it's a Catholic book, but the book, The Purpose Driven Life, that's it by Rick Warren. Do you, um, do you ever read books about, uh, about Catholicism and the Catholic Church? What? About what? Uh, Catholicism and the Catholic oh, Church. Oh, okay, about religion. Yeah, religion. So, yeah. Uh, I've, read, I've read the Bible and um, I've read a comic about the Bible. About, it's, a, it's a more modern uh, style of the Bible. So, that's all, that's all. Okay. Uh, do, so, you don't have that much interest in reading about religion? No, I, I, have, I have interest in re reading religion books. Uh, but uh, it's not, uh, let's say, it's not, I think I don't have time for it right now. But I, I, I believe in God. And, uh, and if I have time, I will buy a book for that. Well, there you have it, a bit of a look inside the Manila International Book Fair and a uh, bit of a chat with a couple of the friendly and colourful characters that populated each year. Uh, and also just a little insight into what Filipino Catholics are reading these days. Uh, this is Tim Cronin reporting for UCA News Manila.